Got my induction arranged for in 30 minutes time, a um, nice long list of questions to ask and also a test drive. I wonder how my standard of driving is in the four and a half years since I passed my test to uh, the level of the standard of driving for the part two which should be quite funny having someone criticise my driving skills I've picked up in the four and a half years. Just had my induction, had all my questions answered, um, so I'm quite happy there. Just been out for the test drive and done a manoeuvre. <laughs> and my driving isn't as bad as I thought. I've just got a few pointers to practice while I'm driving. And I should be good to go for my part two training when I've done my part one. Just got back from passing my part one exam. <laughs> Really pleased, I got 100%. Uh, the four weeks of hard work has really paid off. And I'm now ready to sit the part two. And there's a look at my little pass sheet. Well happy. Just done my first attempt at my part two exam and passed it first time with four minors, which I'm quite surprised at because about halfway through I actually thought I failed. I got jelly legs and got pulled over at one point to actually calm the leg down because it was shaking so much and I'm just so happy about passing it first time and I can't believe now I'm only 36 hours away from actually being able to teach somebody to drive. Now two days into my part three training it's all going brilliantly I'm really really enjoying it and when I first look at the profession, colour file professional and it's quite daunting but now I'm into it and I know how to use it it's a brilliant tool to help you get through what you need to talk them through but I've also figured as well the best picture we're on in the road ahead um, I've decided to go for a pink badge, um, a trainee licence to help me gain the experience before I go for my final exam and I'm now four weeks due to start in with my first pupil already on my books and the future's looking bright.